What's up everybody and welcome to my Smackdown review The Go Home Show 2 uh, for Backlash this Sunday um, I will be going to Backlash this Sunday so just to get this out of the way there will, no, there will not be any Won't be any live reactions this Sunday I will be at the pay-per-view I will be there Sunday I can record stuff and I'll probably bring it back here, but I kind of did that last year with Payback and, um, well, I've gotten up before and you can see it on the YouTube channel, but, uh, the problem is, and I just, I did the copyright thing and I made sure our rights went, you know, reserved for WWE, but I guess they still took my shit in just because, like, I really had good footage last year, um, pretty decent seats I had last year, I think the seats I got this year are better. I will say that, so, I will be going to the show this Sunday, I will be there at the Allstate Arena, I had a choice between that and TakeOver, I have somebody come with me, um, I would have went to TakeOver, but that person would be busy that day, and yes, ticket prices are very different from both those shows, but yes, I will be there this Sunday, Backlash, it will be going down, so watch out, I gotta get that little news out of the way before we start the show. Uh, this review is on my this show. Kevin Owens was in the ring. The Kevin Owens highlight reel, pretty much copying Chris Jericho's highlight reel. As he talked about getting rid of Chris Jericho and taking him out a few weeks ago. And he's going to do the exact same thing to AJ. But he'd like to introduce his first guest in French because he can. And as he did that, AJ Styles came out, you know, saying you've been ste stealing Jericho's thunder for a year. Now you're going to be stealing the show. I mean, his show. And, you know... So, you know, I can do anything better than Jericho, he says. And he's going to bring the U.S. Championship back to America. Until Jinder came out, asking what he was doing here. This is supposed to be, the, you know, the guest. Because Owen says he is the guest. But he called him a rude American like everyone else. And Owen was very much, you know, was supposed to discuss the WWE title this Sunday. And that Mahal pin ring Yorton last week. And Jinder pretty much talked about Gandhi to find yourself and lose yourself and whatever and everything, but Owens, the pretty much all styles, you know, it's, he's going to be here for a rough week, he said he's going to lose to Ginger tonight, and you're going to lose to me on Sunday. He was okay in the mic, Ginger, uh, pretty much a good way to kick out the show. Wasn't much, but it was okay. Um, Sty Styles Norton, uh, I say Styles and Orange, Styles and Owens. Tie on the line is Sunday. Pretty much a good way to kick off these little highlight reel things. So it was okay. But we, we get off with AJ versus Jinder. And I know they're trying to get Jinder Mahal as over as they can. But then again, you can't do it in four weeks. Because I don't think he's clicked on yet to people. And I don't think a lot of these matches have been clicking also. Like he's trying, but it's just something odd from it. And yes, they have put him in, and I know AJ was going to do his best to make him look as good as he could, because you know, it's AJ Styles and and stuff, and he's going to try his best too, but I, I, I don't know, like, Mahal did, did need wins though, he needed to beat some uh, big names. Uh, pretty much, Jinder did win the match after Kevin Owens hit AJ Styles with the, uh, U.S. title in his leg, and, you know, AJ Alley couldn't walk in, the Singh brothers would distract him, and Jinder pretty much got the Cobra Clutch and won the match and beat AJ Styles, which is really hard to say in that sentence for some reason, that just doesn't make sense, but it, it, the match was what it was, in my opinion, it, it's just, it's like I said, you can't build a guy up in four weeks after his job to everybody in the past, what, seven, eight months and stuff, and he says, what, the, the juice himself, yes, the juice Mahal, I'm still calling him that, and he's on that juice, folks, so it's kind of hard to build up a guy like that, that quickly, in that type of fashion, it just doesn't make a lot of sense, they played more Lana videos, of course, they did that, uh, the Fashion Files, Pretty much talking about Baron Corbin's um, shirts and Sami Zayn and the Usos with their clothes and stuff. The Day 1, 1S, the H they call it. And they were going to freeze frame if they were going to win the titles this Sunday. 
it was a better um, segment. I'll give that. But yeah, and pretty much I was about to face Primo and Epico up next. I forgot about those guys. I thought they were going into American Alpha. Uh, Randy Yarden pretty much said that, you know, people said that Jenner dislikes everybody because they're afraid of diversity, but he pretty much called them. And he, he says the fans hate him because he's an ass. That's why they hate him. Uh, the fashion file thing was good. I will say that. The free strength thing was a little bit funny. Like, ah, and stuff. It was somewhat funny. Some of these things have been hit or miss. And I, I like the segments. I think they're pretty good. I think the first one was really funny though. Still. Second one was that. Third one tonight. It, it, was, it was okay. I, I'll give it that. And it went against the Colognes. Which I don't know what they're still trying to push the Colognes. Because I don't know how they're serious. And Rosario won with a Falcon Zero. And won the match. The rumors after that, the Usos came out, and they did, did the, I just love it, it was, I know other people don't understand, I was talking to somebody tonight about it, somebody did it, like a crime time ripoff, like, they said this is how they act, so I, I love it, I love the hoodies, uh, I like all that shit, I, I enjoy it, I get it, I understand it, like, the camera said, like, y'all gonna play some cops and robbers, huh, y'all gonna talk about the penitentiary, huh, why would we read you your rights, huh, you wanna play cops and robbers, pitch the bad guys, do all that stuff, listen, you got the right to remain silent, are you gonna be shut up? We're gonna put you on the gurney. If you cannot afford a gurney, you won't be provided. And you got goosebumps running on your back, you know, you're gonna feel like something behind you. You think you're gonna do this? We're gonna catch it, like, you know, the penitentiary, the on the gurney, in the cell, in anywhere, man. You know, you're gonna catch us, you're gonna catch us here, what it's gonna do. <laughs> and you're gonna shut up, because it ain't gonna be paranoia. It's gonna be the ooh souls. Like I said, I, I enjoy it. I, I like the promos they cut. It shows intensity. It actually shows some charisma out there, and it's 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 great. And I don't even know if people know what the boom that because I don't think nobody knows what they're going what they're talking about. I understand what they're talking about. So some people think they come off his faces because their promos is really that fun to watch. I like it. I think it's great. It's it's just it's awesome to me. I I like the Uso. Like they show some like. I don't know, I, I said before, I like some street cats and everything, but I, I, I just like how they talk front behind it. It's really cool, like this whole crazy uh, street mentality shit getting. I don't, I don't care what it is, I like it. Uh, Shane McMahon had a contract sign, I don't know why we're having a contract sign for a six man tag match. I feel like we've had it before. As the Welk Committee committee came out, talk about what's going to Sunday. And they're gonna take him all down. As Becky got on the mic and said, "I'm gonna, we're gonna take every one. It's the uh, what do they call themselves? The Fire Royal and Glow, or Royal Fire and Royal Glow and Fire, as they call themselves." Becky said, "You know, we're gonna take you out. You your little goon squad and stuff. You know, I'm gonna slap all of them down." Naomi pretty much says, "You know, gonna need a hairdresser. Gonna get a snatch them bald." And Charlotte. So the welcome to Canada, you're gonna have a problem in Chicago because after I take care of y'all, the queen will come for the crown, which is the title. And so James Ellsworth, which I just don't understand sometimes. I, I know he's doing as best as he can because I didn't know where they were gonna go after the um after the whole AJ Styles thing. But Ellsworth pretty much told Becky and Charlotte they had no chance against us and quote Vince McMahon and that Carmella would take the title from there, so this segment was mad, all the best. I don't know what to expect out of this thing, but I, I don't know. Like, we just pretty much put all the women in a six-man tag on this roster for some reason. All of them, I'm just in a six-person, six-woman tag. And they set up a match between Naomi and Carmella since Shane McMahon made the match. And pretty much as they were all doing the match, uh, Ellsworth was kicked out. Uh, as the match pretty much went on, I think Naomi should really stop doing that rapid kick thing, because that's that's just bad. I'm kind of getting tired of that. It's not really um, working out for anybody. I just think it just looks kind of silly sometimes when she does those kicks. It's just like, is it really effective? That's what I want to know. Uh, Naomi was pretty much an, um, pretty much got distracted in on uh, uh, Natalia and Tamina got involved. The ref threw him out, but they came back and brawled with Charlotte and Becky. And for some reason, Carmella got the win, and I don't know what this really accomplished. Yes, she got a pin over the champion, but 
I, I don't know what that, um, I don't know why the champion had to lose right there. It didn't make a lot of sense to me. Like, what did it really solve? I just don't really know what it solved. Uh, Dull Ziggler. Ziggler, Ziggler, Ziggler. Oops. Uh, Ziggler, though. He was kind of promo backstage on uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. And now he's done some research on Shinsuke. And they're about to play a video and he says he's done nothing in WWE. And he talked about a video about himself, how he's accomplished everything, and that these fans don't care about him, and they turn their back on him, which is just a very generic heel promo and stuff. And Sammy pretty much that's what I say Sammy for. Um he pretty much told, yeah, he promised that he's gonna take out Nakamura before it even begins, he says. Even though promo was alright. He just keeps talking about the fans turning his back or abandon him, which doesn't make a lot of sense in that point in fact also, because I just don't think people care about Ziggler that much. So it's just kind of a generic, generic heel promo. Sami Zayn, um, I thank goodness he's not doing his Woody Allen impression this week, but I don't know, he still, somewhat still comes off as annoying and talk about he was targeted by Baron Corbin and why he was on SmackDown and, you know, you know, talking about why he won't stay down, who's the alpha male, the dangerous ego. I guess they have a match this Sunday at Backlash. Corbin Burns beat him up from behind. Some of you think Sammy comes off more as a pest, which somewhat in a way, because he's walking away from him like he's an idiot if he keeps talking really crazy most of the time. So, I don't know. Sammy Zayn's promos are just kind of odd sometimes. Randy Orton winning against Baron Corbin in the main event. Which was okay at best. Nothing much. I didn't think they had a really great match last time they faced each other. I just thought it was okay. It was good for what it was. Uh, Orton dealing with the RKO until Jinder Mahal came out and was talking about he's going to take the title until one of the Bodywood boys, the Singh brothers, attacked him from behind. Orton was taken out, but Mahal got back in and hit him with the. What is it called? His finisher, the. The crew lost, whatever, the Cobra Clutch Slam thing. And they beat up Orton and stuff, and they closed the show. So, I, I don't know. I just don't think Jinder Mahal's clicked. And he's doing, like I said, he's doing what he could. But, but I, I don't know. I I, don't, I still think it looks really silly if he wins the title this time. I don't know what it'll accomplish. I just think this is odd if he wins the title. And they pushed him this quick in this short amount of time. So... I, I, I don't know. It's just kind of... It's kind of odd. <laughs> I, I don't know. So... We'll have to see what happens this Sunday. That's all I can say about that match. So... It's not like Jenner was really that good to begin with. So... I, I, I don't know just missing something out of this whole thing so whatever we get from Morton is kind of whatever and we'll have to see what goes down since um Mahal stood over him tonight but it's like I said this is something that hasn't really clicked with the fans and we we'll just have to see you know I can get into the whole Randy Orton thing right now where everybody's been talking about the dives and stuff and what he said about the independent wrestling scene some agree some don't about, you know, doing the same thing and 20 super kicks and pretty much Orton came off as a goddamn prick anyways. Um, pretty much talking about his money and stuff. So, I could get in that, but I could say that for a different video and um, think what I'm going to say. Because it's kind of been a few days. We all know it started from um, going all the way back to the Ring of Honor pay-per-view last Friday on War of the Worlds. And Rip Rogers said something about all the indie matches. And because Bully Ray did something, him and Orton got into an argument on Twitter again. So... Uh, it's it's a lot to say from this whole thing. It really is. It really is a lot to say from this whole thing. But uh, what Orton said about the independent wrestling scene. But uh, I'm gonna keep it here in this video. Off, uh, we will see you this Sunday for SmackDown. It will. Um, now I'll say not Sunday for SmackDown. Sunday for Backlash. So I just get my words on. I'm talking about this pay per view sometime. 
Backlash, we will see Sunday. And you know what? Quick note before I end this review. What was Rusev tonight? Didn't Rusev say he was going to show up? Well, what happened to that? They, cause I saw that they hyped that on TV. Like, was Rusev even ever there? They kept hyping him, but he never showed up. He's supposed to confront Shane McMahon, but it never happened. It's like, the idea just got dropped for no reason. It's like, I thought he was supposed to be, um, wasn't Rusev supposed to show up tonight? I just thought about that. Didn't even see him. Nakamura, I'm kind of surprised he wasn't that there, especially for a go-home show. But, hey, we'll see him this Sunday on the pay-per-view. And I know it was another kickoff match uh, added. Ty Dillinger versus Aiden English. So, we'll have to see how that goes down this Sunday. Like I said, we've got a pay-per-view this Sunday. Uh, it's going to be big. I will be there. I may try to bring as much footage as I back and post it on the channel. So, we'll see, see what we can do. But I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.